Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video. And today I want to share with you the strongest Super Dragon Army which is crushing common legend bases right now like nothing. After this video you're going to be the master of legend if you follow my steps of introduction which are super simple to follow, trust me. But before we're jumping into all of those attacks I think we should check it out first. That's a new cool uh, Christmas tree, but as well, there are a lot of offers in the shop. And obviously over Christmas, typically, there are a lot of off offers coming. If you think about buying any of those, make sure to use the credit code. If you would like to support me, make sure to use code. It's a really th big thank you for that. And now let's dive in in the first box. I mean, we're not going to like be able to skip those box bases, right? Those box bases are everywhere. And I will exactly explain to you what you have to do. First thing first. You have to go with your king for the town hall. This is one of the most important things. Do not blimp it. Do not use your slammer for it. That's a way too big waste. Use your king for this town hall because most of the time it's really free. Either open walls or you can use the yak to get through that walls. No problem if there's a single front tower behind it. Just freeze it. That's really no problem whatsoever. The next thing what you're about to do is use your queen as pathing option for funneling and push them with your... Um, super dragons right into the core. You can use this angle from like around about 4 o'clock or like go a little bit higher. That's possible as well. Um, the key thing right now for you is to get your super dragons into the core. And because your, those box bases have everything stacked around this core, this splash and everything is just going to wreck through the core. Use your clone for the slammer which is getting open to clone more loons into the, uh, into the front. Making sure that you're taking black mines, traps and general. For your super dragons and with this uh, your super dragons are just going to survive forever but remember use your royal champ in time where should you use it well you use the royal champion to make sure that the royal champ is pushing those super dragons back into the core that's where they belong make sure they're pushing all the way through into the uh, compartment of the enemy heroes and the royal champ is going to clear the entire top side with those freezes on the back end for air defenses scatter shot Defending heroes, for example, or X-Balls in general. All of those things are good options for freezes. And with this, you can see that's going to be our first formation. Remember, even though this might doesn't like maybe this is, does not seem too big of an overkill, but remember, every single super dragon is 40 housing space. The next base is pretty common as well, right? Like this base, every one of us has detected already with whatever army. And for air in general, it's just it's just like it's hell. That's how it is. Like, it's really not that easy to attack. So I will explain you how to approach this base with this exact army. And what you do for this is use a blimp or use your slammer. I prefer the slammer because it's giving you better pathing later on for the dragons. And use the clone, use a rage to make sure that this town hall is going down. As soon as this town is going down, you can stop the heroes on the flanking side. Use your super dragons and use the inferno dragons to funnel your heroes inside this bottom compartment. Those inferno dragons are really, really important for funneling and they're just so, so good at it. The warden ability most of the time you try to delay. That's really important to make sure that all of those traps which are inside the core, all of the black mines are getting blocked. That's exactly what we did. And keep rage your super dragons because as long as they can push through all of those air defenses in the core, this base is a super anti-dragon base or supposed to be with all of those air defenses around the core, it is really not easy otherwise. If you do not have the warden ability in the core, you are going to struggle. For the back end, just make sure that you keep freezing this bottom compartment. There's typically the expose, um, Inferno Tower, Eagle, Tesla form, there's just so many things at this bottom compartment that there is a ton of freeze value to make sure that your heroes are pushing through. And even with this pretty much perfect entry, I would say, it is going to be close at the end because this base is just so anti-dragon setup. But still, we have right now still three super dragons left alive, which is overall a housing space of 120. So it looks like, oh, there's only three super dragons alive. If you compare this, this would be six regular dragons staying alive at this point. This is just crazy how tanky they are and how much damage they can provide. And really those, um, those, those Inferno dragons are really only there to funnel because they're just so much better at it as Babe Dragons, for example. But either way, it's going to be the next three star and this anti-air, anti-dragon base just got completely wrecked. So let's move forward to the next common base. And I know it's maybe getting boring, but guys, this is what you're dealing with if you're pushing a bit higher in legends a lot of box bases but i will share more tricks with you still the same approach send your king for the town hall but as well use the archer sometimes if you have like 
if you have the prediction that there might be some tests around the town hall, make sure to use the archer to test that. If that's the case, use your queen with your king together to make sure this push is stronger and you get the town hall for sure. This is the most important thing. Use as many spells as you need to get, uh, take down the town hall. As soon as that is happening, the rest of the base, trust me, is going to be easy. Now use the Inferno Dragon to take down the funneling or like make sure that the funneling is set make sure your dragons are going to get into the core again because this is the one key thing which is so important with this attack strategy against box bases get your super turns into the core and you have one already so exact same thing against on this one using the clone using the rage and delay your warden ability if it's not needed to use it early. This warden ability right there was insane. Used on clone loons, used on my own loons, used on the super dragons. Everything is just set up in the warden ability. And then use the royal champ again on the other side of the opposite side of your entry of your super dragons to push everything further in. You want to get into the back end compartment of those heroes with as many super dragons as possible. That exactly is happening, what is happening right there, which is overkilling those heroes. Make sure those heroes are going down quickly and they cannot dish out the damage. Again, on the back end, you're freezing common defenses, which is air defense, expos, scatter shots, or even defending heroes. Those are your main freeze targets. And you can see this is. It's not even close as soon as you get this push into the core against box spaces this is easy and i really have to say after like testing around a little bit versus those box spaces with this army strategy like i have to say i don't know if box spaces are going to disappear but whenever you're using this army and you're following my instructions with those tips and tricks you're going to have a great time. You're going to smash out of those box spaces and maybe they're going to disappear. Let's see if that's actually going to happen. But let's move forward. And this time we have another box space. But this time I want to, for you guys to stop the video and let me know where you would you enter. Have you stopped the video? Well, where you enter, as I said always, go for the tunnel with your king. This time though, we're going a little bit with a tricky entry. We're going in with a little bit of a creative entry and forcing our king the wall rely on our yak that is really important obviously as well bringing the yak to the mix as well and getting that town hall another trick is make sure that you're not overacting with the freeze make sure that you remember how long it takes for the single phone tower to like stack up and actually deal damage before because for before that you don't need to use the freeze for us over here the phone tower couple of times targeted my king but he always ran out of the range again this time though he's inside that range so i need to use the freeze and at this point it's the same procedure as always we're getting our uh, super dragons into the core and the base is done where do we do that well pretty simple again on one of the flanks of the town hall using the queen to push everything into this exact core so the queen on the outside again it always look kind of swag but this queen or inferno dragon or whatever you're using is so crucial to make this push into the core again one ability delayed uh, a little bit on my end this time though i was a bit panicking with this thing inferno tower being on my um, on my super dragon and again royal champ on the other side to push everything through the core so make sure that as many troops as many super dragons are getting into the back end as possible and overwhelming those defending heroes on the back end so you can see again clone spell Further in front of my super dragons and at this point, there is no black man in the world which can somehow target my super dragons. With this, they're staying alive forever, just back and freeze because this sweeper is set up pretty annoying against the setup. So I have to invest those fields onto the back end sweeper. But still, it's not, there is no difference. There is no difference, even though this base already was set up pretty well against this type of attack with the sweeper against this super dragon push. Still, this is a huge overkill. As I said, you're going to have a great time in Legends in clan war or wherever as long as you're getting those steps in as long as you're following those um tips and tricks which i gave you over this video and you can see this time it's a huge overkill and i mean i have a phrase left i have like more super drinks left than i started with and this is going to be crushed so always following if you're facing those box spaces make sure to use the king for the town hall Sometimes in a more expensive way with spells or inferno dragons to funnel. As long as you get those super dragons into the core, the same way as always, then you're just done with the base. The same thing for ring base, for example, even though ring base are not that common anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to smash some bases with those tips and tricks. And I would really appreciate if you use code ITSU if you learned something new in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.